Good morning, fellow option traders. This is Jeff, and this is a daily scan for Thursday, January 3rd, 2013. 1 3 13 or 1 3 1 3. Everybody likes to assign meaning to uh, dates like that, but you know, it's just a number. That's all it is. Okay, so uh, yesterday, wow. If, uh, if you just uh, were a holder of stocks, you were very happy about what happened yesterday. And, you know, I have accounts that I'm very happy with, but we're here to talk about option trading and spreads and delta neutral or market neutral trades. <clears throat> and what we're going to do today is just briefly look at the spread account, which is this one here. Suffice to say that, um, well, this is the old uh, um, insurance policy left over. Not worth a dime. As a matter of fact, it's only worth a penny, as you can see here. Uh, and this Apple Bear Call, which I was considering flipping yesterday and making a bull put. But, you know, when a stock gaps like that... Um, like Apple did and like the whole market did yesterday, you don't really want to, um, you know, take a, take a loss. So if I look at Apple briefly here, uh, I'm still not um, down to my break even, which is uh, right around 561 or so. We're at 546. We know Apple can make some very big moves. But I was watching it yesterday, and I saw that it was pulling back, and then it didn't quite get back to its open. So that could be construed as a sign of weakness, and I'm not going to panic just yet. Um, Apple in the pre-market, let's take a look here. We're at uh, 546, 546. And it actually closed at 549, so it may open down today. So I am not going to do anything with that. I did not do anything with CF either. I thought that the um, the uh, price action yesterday um, looked kind of weak, a lot like Apple, pretty much like the rest of the market. Um, so I just kind of stayed out of that. You know, we got this nice hook here, but still, percent D still has not hooked up on the weekly chart and that's just like a confirmation for it to do that but what I am concerned about is the profit 10 portfolio let's take a look and see where we are first let's uh, take a look at the overall portfolio let's take CF off of here it says hide simulations what is CF doing on there all right, now make sure that we're looking at the right thing here. And we want it weighted on the SPY. And here we are. Let's take uh, these that insurance policy off of there. Okay, so overall, we're pretty much flat. So um, because we're so up with so positive or negative delta here on the hot side, meaning upside risk, something is skewed. So something is uh, giving us all these deltas, and yet we're still only flat. All right, so um, to try to figure this out, which is kind of an easy thing to do, is we just shut off the cues, and we can see that uh, we are down on the Russell, those two iron condors that I have on the Russell. They are right here. Let's just let's go back to single symbol. We'll go to Russell. All right. Um, this is not good right here because we're down four hundred dollars on this one. If we look at the at the cues, I can turn it back on here and turn this these ten off. We can see that um, we're. Uh, up $418 out of a possible, as we look down here in this box, 531 at expiration, which is 
expiration is just a little bit over two weeks away. It's the 18th here. Um, so we are okay with this. So what do we do? Well, I look at the pre-market. After a uh, big, big day like yesterday, there's probably going to be some sort of a pullback. It looks like there might be one. Of course, it could recover and it could move back up. You just never know. TF, which is the futures for the Russells, is at 871. We'll go back and look at Russell here. We were at 873 yesterday, so we could move back to 871. Type that in there. Which would bring us down to 377, saving us a considerable amount of money. Um, 77 is 20, about $60 based on the anticipated opening today. Um, so we're just not going to really do anything. We're just going to keep an eye on this today. Uh, I hate to take a loss because you just don't know how many times I have bailed when things happen in the market like happened yesterday and taking losses only to have them move back and be profitable. So I'm not going to panic at this time, but I just wanted to let you know that it's in trouble and I'm not going to deny that. But um, we are also not going to panic and I wasn't going to panic yesterday either as I watched the market go absolutely insane over this so-called fiscal cliff deal where they collect a dollar and then spend 40? Is that the way that it works out? Yeah, I think I think they're collecting a dollar and they're going to spend an additional 40. Someday the uh, spending spree is going to hit. Someday. I don't know when that's going to be. And there's just too much politics involved. It's crazy. It's insane. It drives me nuts. But you can't deny what you see on your screens as far as this trading is concerned. So I'll probably, uh, I didn't go through the scan today, but I probably will later and look to see if things have set up. I'm not going to chase. We all know that, you know, anybody that's in a bullish play right now is doing really well and you just don't jump in now after a move like yesterday. Um, you want to be sensible about this and wait for your opportunity to enter. All right, so um, that's it for today. We'll see how things um, progress. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and happy trading.